I, I never sent the tape. I don't like, I don't know what y'all talking about. We, we but we're not even that's yeah, guys, no. Uh-uh. Body is Tink Marche. Thank you so much for stopping back by and listening to some more of my commentary on uh, Martell and Melody Holt and Ariane Curry situation. How ridiculous is it for your ex-husband and his side chick, which whom he broke up his family to be with publicly, to try to embarrass you by revealing your private moments with the side chick? Weeks ago, I did a video on Mel in reference to Martell. Martell and Ariane Curry was plotting on dropping a private moment shared between Martell and his then ex-wife, Mel, but Ariane Curry was going to be behind this Instagram page. And it was supposed to be a bot account with a unknown male whom we know now is Martell. It's been established for some time now that Martell has attempted to bring Mel down by insinuating that Ariane is a better mother all while waging a smear campaign on Mel, dragging her to court for custody for her children. Some time ago, he was invited to attend his daughter's birthday party. I want to say this was last year. And he chose not to attend, only to appear in photos at Ariane Curry's daughter's birthday party. This is the type of man that Mel has been dealing with for 10 plus years. Carson Blue, I told you in my last video, Carson Blue advised the public that Martell and Ariane had a private video of Mel. So if it wasn't for Carson coming out and revealing that information, we probably wouldn't have never known the extent to what um, Martell and Ariane was getting ready to go to wage a war against Mel. People seem to forget that Melody was once manipulated by Martell. So I extend some a little bit of grace to Ariane for being um, only because, you know, that there's a saying that God pities the fool. So, you know, I kind of pity her sometimes. But anywho, Melody was not always as strong as she is today. And it took her some considerable amount of time to unravel for Martell. And no way am I granting passes to Ariane. I'm just stating that as a fact. The way Ariane behaves when it comes to believing everything that Martell tells her, it makes sense because our beloved male experienced the same situation. So you're at your breaking point? I really am. He's a liar, Alanda. The way anything said in this video is my personal belief. Um, has I don't know these people personally. I just know from what I see on TV and what I grab from the internet. This male's class and sophisticated style, her hustle, her brains, her beauty, that separates her from Ariane. To me, Ariane looks completely different than what she did when we first saw her on Instagram, which is one of the pictures I put in a video, versus now. Bill is really good at what he does. Ariane is running a turtle race when it comes to the manipulation effort of Martell. Mel was able to study his ways and gain the upper hand. Martell is a master of manipulation. Don't talk to my wife. You but didn't you, give me my phone. Sweetheart, it was on speaker. I said, Martell, say something. Say something, Martell. You didn't say not one oh, word. I'm and sorry, I'm not accustomed to that situation. You heard your girlfriend get smart with your wife on the phone. You never took up for me or defended me, ever. I mean, why am I defending you? Like saying something to your wife, saying don't say nothing to my wife. But Mel was able to outmaneuver him. She was able to break free and rise above the manipulations of Martell, proving she is a strong and independent woman. Why a lot of us women can relate to her, right? Moving forward to this tape. So there was a three-part series of a leaked phone call conversation between um, Straight No Chaser, she's a YouTube blogger, um, and Ariane Curry. And she revealed a lot of things in this tape. And after it was revealed that there was a tape, Mel replied on her Instagram. And then we come here to the recording of Ariane's conversation with Straight No Chaser, just to catch a lot of you up who don't know. Okay. And if you're interested in knowing what Ariane said verbatim, please review the full view, the full clip on Straight No Chaser's channel. Remember correctly, I believe Ariane did not neither deny or agree that she had the tape of mail. But in this recording on Straight No Chaser's channel, she implemented herself. She implemented herself by saying that there is a tape and that she was never going to release it. Prior to that, I don't think she was 
even associating herself with this situation at all. Um, and I'm like, what? Um, I think all this time, maybe Martel may have, may have been advising Aryan. Nothing could happen to them without hard proof. Probably not knowing that he had already sent the screenshot to Mel. I'm saying Aryan probably didn't know about this screenshot. I also believe the only reason why she did this interview with Straight No Chaser is to get back at Martel for whatever reason. I don't know if she was mad at him. I was sensing that she was mad. I could be absolutely wrong about that. But knowing how Martel get down, this is an absolute no-no. You do not go to the blogs and talk about his business whatsoever and make him look bad. We know that he do not like that. Especially, you know, seeing how he reacted to Mel wanting to talk about her experience with Martel behind the scenes, which is why the, the tape even came about. He wanted to send a screenshot to Mel, which Mel has confirmed this, that um, Martel sent the screenshot of this tape that Ariane supposedly have in her possession. And he sent this to Mel to shut her up. So she knew that this tape existed. Mel has since started following Lisa Bloom. Lisa Bloom is one of the lawyers that assisted Tierra Marie when she had her situation happen on Love & Hip Hop, if y'all remember that. Okay, so we're, we all assume in the YouTube community, assume that Mel probably won't let Martel and Arian off easy, which is why we have these leaked phone calls of Arian now trying to clear her name in a roundabout way, okay? But regardless of any Arian. I feel bad for you. <laughs> when you try to create karma for others, you tend to lose control of your own life. Martel has to learn to accept the consequences of his actions, which is he broke up his family. He felt he broke up his family for this. And he needs to learn to take responsibility for his emotions if he wants to save any other relationship he may dabble in in the near future. Ariane Curry, in my opinion, you're up shit creek without a paddle. And I honestly feel like it's too late to apologize. She did apologize to Mel in a roundabout way. She said something to the effect of, I apologize for the part I played in um, breaking up the marriage. And she apologized for Martel falling in love with a younger woman. So, like I said, in a roundabout way. And I'm paraphrasing on that. With that being said, I really hope you're seeking legal help because people aren't just saying that you're going to jail for no reason. You could possibly go to jail or get a fine at the very least. But what do you think? Do you think it's too late for Ariane to apologize? What do you think is going to come about this situation? Do you think they're going to end up in court? I honestly believe so. If not, go ahead and tell in the comments. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I thank you all for stopping by. Y'all have a great day. And for a long time, I was not, um, happy Mother's Day. For a long time, I was on some bullshit I was not able to realize. Okay, Ariane, what you did wrong. Warning, warning.